The most important thing is that I scored! Good morning from London. I thought I'd start this vlog here. Whenever I'm wearing this jacket, it looks like my shoulder's up here. It's just a pad, like the shoulder pad, I'm sorry. I thought I'd start this vlog here because I need to start it somewhere. No particular reason, basically. Or at least not a valid reason. I am starting my day with a lot of meetings. We're on Mount Street. I have some appointments first. And then because my meeting was moved, one of my first meetings, I might even do a little bit of window shopping. Say window because I placed yesterday a huge order on my Theresa, so I think any further spending would be ridiculous. But anyway, let's go. Hello. We're in Harrods. I have 35 minutes till my next appointment, which is here. I am just very, very simple, as you can see with my Balenciaga blazer, but I want to try two things from Louis Vuitton. So the skirt over here, it's relatively oldish, it's from the Feminine Masculine Collection and I want to try the trousers, I think they're new I love them, they're so cool Let's try it both Oh, is it too bright? Here is the skirt, I'm not really properly wearing my shoes on But I really like it, I think I really suit the skirts That have this kind of, kind of overlap-y looking It's almost like shorts type of thing size 36 which I think is great because there is some room so I can wear them with knits like a pink knit and boots in autumn winter I like this let's try the trousers because then we will know what's the favorite I've just tried the trousers on they're stunning but they're big 36 in trousers is pretty big on me so I need a 34 they're just checking for me I know they're supposed to be slouchy and not tight but like maybe not this slouchy right I mean for traveling they'd be cool but I don't want them for traveling I want them for like with heels and stuff and I need to figure this out 34 is the one however I love them, I think they're so cool, but I think I think I can get just one. Ooh. Hmm, so 90s, but not my thing, I think. Um, anyway, um, I think I'll get this cat, because I love it. Okay guys, so this just happened. Now I have my meeting with Fendi. We're on the fifth floor of Harrods. They wanted to meet me here because the new Fendi Cafe just opened on the fifth floor. So let's go and check it out. I'm very, very excited. How stunning is this latte that you get when you come to Fendi Cafe? I am obsessed. Good morning. I'm sort of speaking quietly because... It's 5.47 a.m. When is it not 5.47 when I'm vlogging nowadays? I'm fully ready. Hair's in a very messy bun because I had to put all of this over my head. I am actually on my way to Paris this morning for a day. I wasn't sure if I wanted to vlog this because it's sort of like a... Well, it's not a work trip and I kind of wanted it to be more relaxed and casual but i'll try and vlog whatever i can we're sort of on a mission to go to hermes so i think it will be an exciting one just packing the hand luggage that's it that's all i'm gonna have for 24 hours in paris maybe a little bit more than 24 hours because i don't know what train i'm gonna catch tomorrow back to london we're very lucky um living in london when you're like going to Paris or in England because it's only a train ride. My taxi is coming in 10 minutes and then I'm heading to the train station and that's pretty much it. Very excited and excited to take you on this journey with me. I'll show you my outfit. Okay, there's half an outfit because I don't have any shoes on. I'm wearing like light wash, kind of comfortable jeans, black Balenciaga t-shirt, then a hoodie over a blazer so that the blazer looks a bit more comfy. This hoodie from Louis Vuitton is the most comfortable hoodie to travel in because I put a hood on and it goes up until like here. I've got my Kelly bag. Clearly one button's open, not so chic. I'm gonna close that in a sec. I missed one. 
and that's gonna be it i'm gonna also wear some trainers for kind of like a casual chic outfits to travel in i like to have layers in even though it's going to be very hot in paris still cold and early in england and also i need to sleep on the train we're currently at hermes waiting for my appointment in paris so let's see how it goes we're now in a very secluded area of Hermes as you can see there's no one around it's been less than 24 hours in Paris right now right there behind me is the flagship Hermes store on Faubourg Saint Honoré can you tell and very exciting new purchase I'm so excited I just don't want to show it because I'm so shy but the most important thing is that uh, this morning obviously I arrived to Paris but I arrived for a little mini break like uh, one night in Paris however I got an Hermes appointment and I thought what better day than to go and you know check my luck and try to get my first ever Birkin bag Good morning from Paris I realized that yesterday I didn't really vlog properly at all because it was kind of a very exciting day so what I didn't inform you on is that so as you guys know on a Saturday I kind of decided to randomly apply for uh, Hermes Faborg boutique on Rue Saint Honoré and um, I randomly applied and I got accepted for a handbag appointment so I was like okay should I go to Paris I asked my sister like is it worth going to Paris just for an Hermes bag it's so weird and like I don't want to do that so I looked up at like some museums like what's going on in Paris like what could I do my sister said look if you don't go you don't have a chance of getting a bag if you go you have a chance of getting a bag so I was like okay I should go and then I checked up with my friends like what are they doing what could we do in Paris blah 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 so decided to come to Paris I was actually with my friends but I just that's why as well I didn't really vlog much because it was kind of difficult to vlog we are at the Hotel Ritz in a most beautiful room which you can briefly see in the background but it's so messy and I just wanted to show you a balcony that I got because it has one of the most beautiful views of Paris and what over there you can see like the top of Place Vendôme which obviously is um, the Napoleon over there and then it's just so stunning this is the garden at the Ritz and all of that other stuff like so beautiful right didn't really take any pictures because this is my time with my tribe the most important thing is that I scored and I don't want to show you uh, what I got right now because I'm gonna do a proper unboxing video of course but I'm very excited about this now I really have to go because everyone's waiting for me I have my bag over here so I need to finish packing I need to leave this is my travel outfit as well because today I'm getting on Eurostar wearing mother than in jeans a Chanel, Chanel shirt my hair is straight it was semi curly yesterday but not anymore and then Gucci Princeton slippers and I will have my Hermes Kelly bag back to where where I was before Paris in the same t-shirt only like straight hair and uh, same luggage at the back which I'm trying to unpack it's 2336 sorry I haven't vlogged more in Paris but I really enjoyed the time I have to say that I tried some new restaurants which I would definitely recommend so last night I ate dinner at this place called giraffe it has a beautiful atmosphere and view I'll insert some clips now for you guys to check it out I really really enjoyed sorry about the mess in background it's some like me clearing out the wardrobe so let me try and distract you like this maybe giraffe i really recommend today had lunch at more like brunch at marks which is kind of like a cool hip place recommended by vogue i know farrell went there a few days ago air conditioning didn't work so if it's a very hot day i don't recommend it otherwise their pokeball is amazing this was my first time ever staying at the ritz i'm not a huge fan of the ritz in london i think it's a little bit oldish but the ritz in paris is the only family owned ritz and it's really really cool and really beautiful and i really love it even though it's like old and it's not that kind of cool type of place it's really nice and i really enjoyed staying there sorry that i didn't really vlog much and i'm sorry that this is just 
what it is but now i'm gonna unpack because it's already late and go to bed and watch the second episode of society on netflix because i need to unwind and relax and just kind of not think about anything because tomorrow is going to be a very very busy day at the office if i can call it that way that's why i'm also unpacking now because if i leave it for tomorrow it's going to be very stressful so i'm just going to put a lot of things to wash unpack shower and go to bed what's that sound Anyway, I will continue vlogging tomorrow in a bit of a better manner. Let's do a record YouTube video. You want to record a YouTube video? Yeah. But why? Because I love doing YouTube videos. But why don't you do YouTube? Well, look, I have no makeup, but do you think I'm still pretty? Yeah, but you can do it. Hello, I'm Stefan and this is Tadka. We are recording a YouTube video. And What's your Tadka's name? Tamara. This is Tamara and I am Stefan. We're recording a YouTube video. So technically this is Tamara and Stefan's show. This is Tamara and Stefan's show. We like you to like and YouTube our video. And, and if you don't like, we we want to send you a message. Wait, I'm kind of confused how does this work. Can you explain a little bit more? If you don't like, we want to send you a message. But what if you like? We will like you. If you like this video, we will like you. That's kind of like a little bit um, interesting of the system. Yeah. Anyway, so instead of me updating them, do you want to update them? When did I get home? Never. When did I return from Paris? Because you know I was in Paris. Yeah. So when did I get back home? Yesterday. Correct. So today is the day after I returned from Paris and we are at home, right? Yeah. What are we doing today? Um, I'm not going to go and wait. I'm not going to get something. I had to go and help my sister with something. I wasn't going to vlog because ha, I look like this, but it's my kind of like a maintenance day today. I have dissolved my gel nail polish and i am going to try and get into town tomorrow to get my gel manicure on i have removed all of my jewelry even my date piercing which i almost never um remove even my helix piercings everything's off because i am um cleaning them so what i do is i basically soak it all up in this little bath i put a bit of fairy liquid and then i pour it all with boiling hot water that i just boil in kettle i just put this on because my nephew was playing with it so it's the tohum necklace that i got on my Theresa recently today's sort of like a maintenance day so i'm doing like a lot of back office work i am gonna do some face masking i'm cleaning my jewelry i am kind of like just trying to do my workouts all the good stuff that i like to do when i get back home in between traveling which i should be doing all the time but you know what i mean that's the kind of day it is today i'm catching up with work everyone's in office today christina was on a holiday so she got back into the office today and we're kind of trying to catch up and prepare for some of the next few adventures and i have a few other things that i wanted to show you in this video good morning you guys today is probably one of the hottest days in england and of course your girls decided to leave the house i am dressed i'm wearing this zara dress obviously i've got my hermes oran sandals slippers on there's that mirror that i'm trying to figure out where can i put it and what to do with it so ignore that please i need to remove this piece of jewelry as well i was cleaning all of my jewelry yesterday so i have nothing on as you can see not my watch either and i'm not gonna have it because i'm going for a massage so obviously i'm gonna have to remove it anyway besides that i need to go and take a picture for a visa that i need to do i'll be doing kind of like running a few errands this morning but also like doing a massage I want to go and have my nails done because as you know I have removed my gel so I'm gonna call in my manicurist to check if I can get an appointment I'm gonna wear my new Hermes bag but since the unboxing video is going after this video I cannot show it to you that's about it gonna remove my love bracelet now and pack my bag which I'm so excited about and then leave because I don't want to be late i'll update you as we go i'll take you with me and then probably today i will finish this vlog because i think there's already a lot going on <laughs> you know in one of my recent videos i showed them the alligator earrings and they kind of look like they're in shape of d so i said d is my favorite letter and then people started like thinking about it like what does it mean but actually it's 
very important, isn't it? It means diligent. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's the first letter of my sister's name. It's the first letter of the most important person in my life. Your dad's name. I mean, my dad is pretty, pretty, pretty important. It is my dad's name, but then if my mom watches this, she might feel kind of bad. So, it is my sister's initial, and she is the most important person in my life. Oh, so nice. Really, like now we're not even trying to be soppy and cheesy. But you are, Tetsitsi. Ever since you like chased off bullies for me when I was in kindergarten. Oh, I'm still chasing them off. Still chasing bullies off. So anyway, I'm on my way to the massage now. I think we're running late to take a picture for Visa. But I'm gonna try and kind of... Well, if I take a picture for Visa after the massage, I'm gonna look even worse than in the last Visa. And in the last one, I look like I have no features on my face at all. Or eyebrows or lips like because they were like it was that that like super new lipstick was trendy you looked anemic yeah i am kind of anemic actually so let's go and get this beep done wow guys i forgot to vlog before the massage this is what i look like after a little bit oily Anyway, I just had my massage over there. She said that my neck and my back is really tense. I always have a massage in Brighton at the same place. Like I go and I pay for my massage. It's like the best thing ever. I might be shooting myself in the foot a little bit by saying this, but it's honestly like the best massage one of the best like the only other massage that I had that was on this level was in Thailand It's so great. The woman that does uh, my back and the whole body is Greek and in general with Greek people I have such a good like standards of beauty and relaxation etc so yeah the place is called Little Jasmine in case you were wondering um, like I said I pay for it myself always I just really want to be honest with you and recommend what's good I'm gonna get out and go and try and take that passport picture even though I'm gonna look like this and um, I'm gonna try and go and get my nails done as well massage done nails done kind of same like color as I always go for I'm having my second coffee of the day I look like this and um, I'm gonna catch a taxi go home I'm gonna go home now and then uh, that's pretty much it I kind of started last night decluttering my space so I'm gonna finish tidying and I have to still show you a few new things that I got in I found this pretty cute cafe I think it looks really cool and they have oat milk Mm, my favorite oat milk so really having the time of my life now okay guys I just realized I never actually showed you what is in this bag so here's a little gift that I received from Bulgari and I absolutely adore it it's been sitting here in this bag because I was waiting to do an unboxing for you guys because I'm so obsessed by the way probably next time when I'm at home None of this is gonna look the same because I'm changing stuff up, but that's not the topic right now. So here we've got a box from Bulgari with a beautiful illustration over here. And then once you remove all of the paper, inside is one of the most stunning, beautiful Serpenti bags by Bulgari. And I honestly like you guys know how much I love and I appreciate Serpenti bags as well as this snake because obviously I love the snakes. But this is probably one of the most beautiful ones I have ever seen and not just because I love pink, orange and red contrast but I think it's in general a beautiful, beautiful bag and a beautiful illustration. So inside as all the Serpenti bags it has I think a mirror, yes a mirror, raincoat and some like paper work i love it i cannot wait to wear it and i think it'll be perfect for holidays besides the bag uh one of my recent additions in my wardrobe are also these Gianvito rossi shoes now look at them they're like completely see-through except from the golden sort of like background crystallized ah oh, so beautiful I'll definitely bring these on my holiday because, sorry, my, my nephew's coughing. I cannot wait to wear them. So I received these from my Theresa because they're exclusively available on my Theresa. They're a collaboration with Gianvito Rossi. And another new pair in my collection. 
are these uh, Roger Vivier boots. These are called Viv Rangers. I love them so much. I already wore them. I love them so much. They were also gifted to me. So I just kind of wanted to separate those three from my previous hauls and new ins because um, they were gifted. So kind of wanted to make that very clear. I've been making some changes in my shoe wardrobe lately because I've been getting more and more shoes because I was kind of briefly recently over bags. Ha, that's until my new Hermes purchase but I got quite a few new pairs of shoes like these ones you could have seen these ones I got in uh, May then obviously these well you've seen the Bottegas both of these are relatively new black Jimmy Choo's the new Pradas so there's there are quite a few new shoes over here I've got the Chanel slides in I would say June I wish I wear my wore my Oran sandals more I'm gonna I'm gonna do that a little bit more yeah there are some changes in here and you guys know how much I love trainers as well so I got my new Chanel I need to clean them my travel in them anyway so yeah I need to also sort this kind of like shoe wardrobe situation a little bit better because I want to reorganize it clean the shoes and just give them a little bit of love right now i look wow well, very shiny because i've just had an acid face mask i was doing my um tata harper resurfacing mask and then after that i applied a ton of moisturizer just to kind of you know um very chill in like one teaspoon shorts and my atro favorite t-shirt this star wars t-shirt is literally like my favorite 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 I'm sorting out my wardrobe cleaning stuff out getting rid of things because because we'll be doing some changes up here in my wardrobe because so i need more space that's basically it everything kind of looks like this at the moment but things will be changing soon with that being said for today i have a few more kind of like things to do i have a bit of a to-do list which is quite long I am finishing up the paperwork for my or the like visa stuff that I was doing. I need to film a few videos because I'm traveling tomorrow. I'm going back home for a little bit to see my parents, to have some fun, and then I'll probably go on a small holiday. And that's pretty much it. Before I go, I just have to pack and I have to film a few videos just because when I'm traveling, it sometimes can be difficult to kind of like film sit down to find space to have good lighting and stuff like that so i'll finish this vlog here i hope you enjoyed it it was a little bit all over the place but i promise i will put a lot of effort in the next one and i hope it'll be better thank you for watching i'll see you soon bye guys